we got the plan on finished, done, both sides, all bolted inside and everything. Uh, but this is bolted on, so I won't be able to show you, but I can show you if I take it all. It's quite heavy though, for what it is. Let's just put this down. It's bolted here, both sides. It's bolted here, completely gasket matched on this side, completely gasket matched on that. And yeah, that was a bit of portion. You got 12 points over here, 12 points over here, and six inch uh, each side here and there. Plus, obviously, the plan of the inside, the modifications in the modifications of the front the body flange position on both sides. This was a bit more difficult than that one. That one's just shorter. This is completely different position uh, to make it a little bit more similar to that one. And that's it, really. That's it. I, uh, yeah. Last time when I used these, remember what I say I wasn't happy with, and I say I have to correct it, which I did because I just did not like it at home. Uh, yeah, one of these is wasted. I can still use it, I can chop it off here and then weld another pipe, no problems, but obviously that will have to be used on my own stuff. Uh, I can't put it for the customer stuff, so let me grab this because I'll show you what it is. And uh, I was looking for different ideas and all this stuff and then I just couldn't come up with something nice and then a solution was under my eyes all along, all this time. It's one of these. This is the original cone that comes from the turbo to the... from the turbo... Uh, no, from the air filter to the turbo actually, if I'm not wrong, yeah. And it's exactly the size we need. 51 on the bottom of three inch, just over three inch on the top. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And the final product, because obviously it looks bad, is this. And it sits exactly where we want it. Obviously it's not gonna be there because I have to work it out. It's gonna be roughly here. And because it's kind of like a bend, like a corner, it's, I think it suits me better because this is obviously a much smoother transition from 51 to 76 mil instead of this. I actually like it more and it brings my clamp over here, which I think is, looks even better. And it's definitely more functional. It works better, not by much, but it does. But now obviously I can't weld this to the, to the compressor housing because I need to choose where to put it. I can put a compressor a bit more on this side and get this here, which it will allow me to have more space. Ah, oh, it won't stay. But you get my idea. If it's still, if I can have it here or there, but obviously I want the air filters to be here, which I know is not the perfect uh, position for it. But if it's not here, then it will have to be away from uh, um, from the engine bay and the only way to do it is go under the body which we don't really want to do it because it's not a very really great place to take air from uh, and this although is not perfect position like i said before it will still have plenty of ventilation because it's all open space from the new and everything so it's a bit of a compromise uh, because obviously we want it to look good and we want to have air filters here because if you pay attention if i put the front of the body here right and the boost pipe is gonna be here so you got the remaining this square section not square rectangular section just for the air filter is a perfect position for the air filter obviously it's not perfect for the heat because obviously the engine generates some heat and uh, uh, it is best to get as cold air to the turbos as possible so that's why this is compromised but it looks good it's not a big compromise because again it's a plenty of ventilation we don't have a bonnet not all closed it's very ventilated so it should be good enough. I want to show you something. This front body, which <laughs> eventually I did manage to remove that bearing. Uh, I made myself a tool from an old uh, long bolt that I was going through, and then it was very simple. And eventually did move it out, which I was more than happy because that means I don't have to burn anything. There was no risks and no. Uh, questions if it's gonna work or how it's gonna work. Um, now all stripped down, pure aluminium, there's nothing to burn down, I can just do my job as good as I can. And I've just finished it, um, however as you can see the original plan was to weld this flange um, to the throttle body, okay? 
idea would be to wear this flange straight there like as close as possible obviously that's not possible because we got the stepper motor obviously housing and like you can't you could you couldn't just go inside there and weld it you may say yeah well there could be a solution for that you could weld it that inside blah blah but then still not as good no not that my phone is ringing it's not as good as pos as it could be because i want some straight bit before the throttle body you know i don't want uh, the flange and the throttle body over here very close it's just the same ideal plus that's the minor issue the bigger issue was to you know, let me just turn this off health and safety i uh, have to ask some health and safety levels light no one says which levels um so the reason why I put the corner first and the flange after instead of flange first and the corner bent after because obviously the flange will take the width of this flange, the width of another flange and the space they have uh, you have to leave for the movement because they actually they float inside so it is roughly two inches so two inches from here so let's say from here it will be roughly here so this bend will actually start here so this will be there and this is the amount of space i can't afford because like i said we will go very close or over the boundaries of this enclosement which we want to transport it you know we don't have much space here you can see already it's only this you know the front of the body will be here the flange will be here and then the band will be kind of here way over so although even if i move the front of the body flange much more inside the plenum i've changed the angle from being here to being there and all the stuff that still wasn't enough let me just grab the through the body maybe i can just because it's still hot out there it's just out of the as mr robertson with his amg showing off every time this comes on me coming out no not now, I got something very important today. <laughs> oh shit. You see, you get distracted by the VH. Alright, so this goes in. I can't touch it, this is hot, like proper, proper hot. So, if this fails off, it's all scrap. No pressure. No pressure. You know what? Let me just put the camera down for a second. Let's do this properly, not take too many risks. I can just touch it here. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. Leave it there. This is shouldn't do like this, you just wait for this to cool down, but for the sake of show you now instead of later, because I, I do want to show you. Go. Right. So now, as you can see from this perspective, yeah, you got this here. Look, we got enough space to put a flange on it. So, yeah, I think it's good. And also, I'm thinking maybe I could even put the sensor in here, maybe there. I don't know. I'm gonna finish the bus systems first and then find the best place for for this to get in. What is it?
this is looking decent, no? Both throttle bodies on, both sides, that one as well, symmetrical, yeah, as much as we as is possible. Turbos are both modified with the new flanges, both of them, and this one as well. These are not completely symmetrical, that one has a little bit of a different shape, however, I've chopped it at a little bit of a different angle where the joints in the turbo and the end result, which is the, the flange position, again is exactly symmetrical both sides. So happy with that. Alright, just finished. Now these welds are not beautiful and uh, I cannot make them much better than these because this is a very thin wool and it is quite difficult to control the temperature of melting the material especially when uh, you're doing a lot of it so yeah well, i think it's not bad it's fairly decent i say words but let me show you what this is for because yeah just to make my life more complicated than it is already this is supposed to be very simple, like extremely simple. One of the simplest things you can do on this turbo system and uh, whatever. Yeah, we're supposed to get the air filters from here, straight here, air filter. That's it. And then me saying, well, it would be nice if you have something tricky, like get them entangled together, something like this. And he says, yes, that's exactly what I want. I was like, fuck. Why do I make my life complicated? Just how about I shut my mouth when I should to? However, <laughs> this is this is only a half, all right? Not even a half, this is only a third. And I'm telling you, this is, takes a long time to weld all of this. It, it really does. And if you ask me, oh, why don't you use the bends? Seriously, do you think they exist in this shape? They don't. So you have to, you have to make it. However, it goes like this. There you go. Yeah. And then it comes back. I can't do it with one hand for obvious reasons. And then from there, it comes here into the air filter. And that one goes there and into the air filter. So yes, they are entangled together. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Made in Japan. This is uh, a very helpful hand to make uh, those. And you make those if you want to build something like that. <laughs> yes, this is way over complicated as it should be. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be. But, to be honest, it wouldn't be fun. And um, at the beginning, like I said, I should keep my mouth shut because I propose this could be a solution to make the intake pipes quite fun, nice. Uh, and then I instantly regret it uh, because it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. I mean, to make one of these, I mean, it's not it's not five minutes task because you have to make them, you have to chop them at the angle, you have to chop them at the same angle here, you have to be careful to do it, uh, you have to turn them all equal, and then the angle you cut them and the length you cut them here, um, it will dictate um, the radius of the bend. And the radius of the bend is extremely important when you do something like this, especially because this is not just a straight curve, it, progresses on the two axes sometimes you even freeze like it changes all the time and you cannot have that with a just a normal um with the normal bends so yeah 